morning, Victor. Good morning. Sasa. Poor Sana. <laughs> Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Jerry. How, How are, are you? you doing? I'm great. Are you a Cristiano Ronaldo fan? I used to be. But <laughs> used to be? Yes. Why? He left Manchester United, so I'm no longer. Oh, that must have been a long time. You, you, yes. So who, who, who are you following now? Lukaku and Zlati Zlat. Zlatan. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlati Zlat Zlatan. Zlatan. <laughs> well, he's going to resume um, yes, back he's with coming United. Back. Yeah, yes, one yeah. year contract. Yeah, he's extended his contract. And actually, that's good news for the team. Mm. Yes. For you, not for me. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the rest of the millions of Manchester United fans, fans out are there. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I agree. Okay. What you got for us? A lot. Now, I'm happy to be back, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the Sports Chronic. I'm Victor Muisio. First things first now. A Nigerian born and former England women's uh, football uh, player Eniola Aluko has been commended uh, by her club Chelsea for speaking of her experiences after she accused England boss Mark Sampson of bullying and discrimination. Now, the 34 year old Sampson has been cleared of wrongdoing. Two, uh, by two investigations and denies the claims made by the 30-year-old Aluko. But anti-racism group Kick It Out says the FA should conduct a comprehensive independent review. Now, the Chelsea lady striker uh, told BBC recently that Mr. Samson made a racist comment about her family in Nigeria being infected with the Ebola Virus. Now, Chelsea Club, on their part, said that they find any, for all, any and all forms of discrimination abhorrent, and it is imperative that players are supported when coming forward to speak about these issues. Now, Players Union, the Professional Footballers Association, says it has been supporting Aluko from the first moment that she made them aware of her experiences with the England team. Aluko was also supported by former England teammate Leanne Sanderson, who tweeted, I am so proud of one of my best friends, Eni Aluko. I have stood with you through this and I will continue to do so. Now, the former FA Director of Corporate Affairs, Mr. Simon Johnson, also went on to Twitter and posted, well done to any Aluko for speaking out. No one should have to justify why they perceive a comment as racist. Sad it came to this, but brave. Well, it's still sad that we are still talking about racism. It Very doesn't sad. seem to go no, really in sports. Especially yeah. sports. Now, on the same note, football is for everyone. On Wednesday in Monaco now, the European football body UEFA rolled out Equal Game, a new social uh, responsibility campaign that will positively promote inclusion, diversity and accessibility in football throughout Europe. Let's have a look and a listen at the following report. UEFA has launched a new equal game campaign to promote equality in the sport. Some of world football's biggest stars, including Ada Agabad, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and Paul Pogba are leading the equal game campaign, which is in line with UEFA President Alexander Catherine's vision of increasing inclusion and accessibility across the European game. If you have to, I mean, if you want to be a social fair play organization, you have to to clearly say no to racism, to sexism, to homophobia, to any discrimination, to discrimination of disabled people any, or any other. The important thing is that you act. People are looking up to us all the time, so even when you go outside, I mean, you, you have to give the, the good message to, to everyone, even it's not because you're on the pitch, but outside the pitch as well, people looking at you. And I uh, just want to, to respect everyone because you're a normal person at the end, you know, outside the pitch, you just, you just you just pull, normal pull, and the message you can give on the pitch and outside the pitch could help the world, I think. The new campaign underlines UEFA's mission to ensure that the game is open and accessible to all and that there is respect for equality across ethnicity, gender, age, sexual orientation, physical ability and social differences. 
And like it is usually the usual, we reserve this last part to pick up something new in the wacky, weird world of sport. Today, we'll introduce you to a strange sport you probably never knew existed. It's called Gaelic uh, football. Now, Gaelic football is one of the few remaining strictly amateur sports in the world, with players, coaches, managers, and managers rather prohibited from receiving any form of payment. It is the most popular sport in Ireland, and the Irish people simply refer to it as football. This game is played between two teams of 15 players. The objective of the sport is to score by kicking or punching the ball into the other team's uh, goals, where you get three points, or between two upright posts above the goals and over the crossbar 2.5 meters above the ground, where you get one point. It's pretty much a cocktail of rugby and, and soccer. It is In this game now, two types of scores are possible, points and goals. A point is awarded for kicking or hand passing the ball over the crossbar, signaled by the umpire raising a white flag. A goal is awarded uh, after kicking the ball under the crossbar into the net, just like football, signaled by the umpire raising a green flag. Positions in Gaelic football are similar to that in uh, other football courts and comprises of one uh, goalkeeper, six backs, two midfielders, and six forwards with a variable number of substitutes. We live, we learn. I'll see you next Friday, and um, on Monday, make sure you join me for the Football Planet. Do have a great weekend. Are you doing Football Planet next Monday? On Monday. Oh, we'll stay tuned, we'll check it out. Thank you. <laughs>